Like even when I suck in, I have loose skin. The way to clear skin is pregnancy, I promise you. Okay, so this is my body like so far. Talk about having someone in a chokehold, I could just... It can be discouraging when you see celebrities and you see all these influencers again. Every time I get my eyebrows done, I just feel like a brand new person. Rihanna, please release some new songs. You're welcome for that. Um, Seriously though, every time I get my eyebrows done, I've been feeling like, who is she? What does she do? What is she about? What's her story? Um, doing things for myself in terms of self-care has been so therapeutic. Like I forget how good it feels to just take care of myself whether it may be big or small like getting my eyebrows done and having human contact with someone else that's not my child or my husband was amazing yeah it just feels so good also outside fa -la 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 fall it's amazing like i love the changing of the colors of the leaves it's just a very festive vibe what's one thing that you want to do for yourself today to make you feel good i want to know let me know down below seriously these eyebrows <laughs> it's giving very jafar but like in a really good way wait does jafar from aladdin have really good eyebrows okay honestly his eyebrows low-key kind of slap low-key though I feel like inflation has become such a menace, not only to society, but our wallets as well. Which is why I'm so grateful for Upside. With Upside, the prices of inflation are offset because you get cash back on purchases that you actually need, like restaurants, groceries, gas, all the necessities to live a fruitful human life. I'm not gonna lie to you, before inflation, I was spending money left, right, and center, and doing things like getting my eyebrows done would not be something I would even think twice about. But now, with everything being a lot more expensive, I have to be a lot more intentful? Is that even a word? I have to be more aware of how I spend and what I spend my money on. But with Upside, because you get cash back on purchases, things like getting my eyebrows done doesn't really hurt as much as it did before. Let's say I'm going to go get gas. I get cash back on that and I can use that money to do things like get my eyebrows done, get my nails done, or I could just repurpose it into getting more gas or getting more groceries. Whatever it is that I want to do. It's actually a huge relief getting money back on essential purchases. I'm actually getting paid to spend money on something I actually need. I know it sounds too good to be true, but that's the reality of Upside. To get started, make sure to download Upside on the App Store or Google Play and use my promo code JustSlim and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, you're going to claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Then you're going to check in at the business and pay as you normally would with your debit or credit card and literally get paid. I think what really takes it on home for me is that with Upside, the cash back that you get, you can use it for PayPal, an e-gift card, Amazon, or other brands, or you can put that cash back 
reward in your bank account it's literally like you're recycling money so i normally use the upside app when i'm getting gas and again everything is like still pretty expensive when it comes to gas prices but again with upside it offsets those prices and it makes it a lot less painful to spend money on something i actually need download the free upside app and use code just slim to get five dollars or more cash back on your first purchase of ten dollars or more thank you upside for putting money in my bank account and letting me do things like get my eyebrows done Thank you so much. This is literally why I never straighten my hair because my hair is literally fighting to be back in its natural form. I am a little over four months postpartum and to say that my body has changed is an understatement okay so this is my body like so far i'm wearing these leggings that are like compression materials so it kind of like <laughs> sucks everything in my arms have gotten bigger and i used to have like little chicken arms which i didn't i wasn't really a fan of like i wanted to like bulk up and just like look stronger and it just it was really hard for me to gain weight in my arms and now they're like thicker they do this thing where they jiggle a lot more which makes me a little uncomfortable but i know that i'm gonna like tone up my arms so i'm totally fine with it for now talk about having someone in a chokehold i could just mm, i could just mm. oh dan you didn't take out the trash when i asked you to get over here and i'm just mm, just mm. when it comes to these Chi -chis. Because I was breastfeeding, they've dropped. They used to be perky. I felt like I could go braless. I mean, I could go braless now, but I liked that I had smaller boobs before, but because of the breastfeeding and the pregnancy, these got a little bigger. And then now that I'm not breastfeeding anymore, like they have dropped. Um, hopefully they go back to normal. If not, listen, this is what I use to feed my kin and she is healthy and that's all that matters. Now on to the area that I am very insecure about. So I feel like I carried her mostly in my belly. Like if you look at my past videos, I was mostly belly, I was mostly tummy. And this is what it looks like and like these compression again like sucked in. And this is what it looks like now. As you can see, um, it's gone down considerably, but I do have like these i've never i've never had these before i'm a lot thicker in my midsection i feel like than i was before i used to be like 23 inches around my waist now i feel like i've increased in size maybe like two or three inches which is like again fine this is where i carried her this is where this is where she was living i feel like it's still honestly kind of dark my linea line has gone down i feel like it's not as prominent like even when i suck in I have loose skin, so it's very interesting. Another huge change has been the size of my peach, and it's not coming from Georgia. Um, <laughs> quite literally, quite literally. Like, honey, this is a bookshelf. Like, the library could never. I'm not really used to having this much back there. Like, I had a butt for my size, but this is like ass. Astronomical. Do you see what I did there? But yeah, this is like a huge change in comparison to like what I looked like before Like I do not fit in any of my jeans Leggings and sweatpants are the only thing that go over the speed bump, honey So word of advice if you want a fat juicy butt make sure you get pregnant My search led me to the study of the spiritual forces with which all of us are blessed And it was in this field that I came upon a clue You guys have also been noticing like how clear my skin has been. That is a result of pregnancy. Let me tell you, skip the Accutane, skip the face wash, skip all the serums, the facials, get pregnant and I promise you, your face will be clear. Today's the first day that I actually stretched my body in a very long time and oh my 
god like it felt so fucking good just to iron out my back my legs it's so insane i feel like my body has aged 30 years forget about like the difference in like my belly and my butt like my joints why am i creaking when i bend down i am 28 why am i creaking when i bend down where's the dw40 because i need to oil my joints like it's 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 insane it's giving like I think I'm coming to terms with like, listen, this is what you look like and it's okay. Um, I actually saw a picture of myself and I am still freaked out that I don't look the same. Like my face is still a little chubbier than I would like it to be. Um, my body is, I'm not gonna lie though, my body is giving thickness, okay? Like thickness to me. The heaviest I've ever been, I've never had this weight on my body and it's like i'm not gonna lie to you it is kind of sexy but it's still an adjustment and seeing myself like not in the mirror but in like a photo it just it's so jarring like it's so crazy like i just like i look like that like i didn't know i look like that and like it's kind of it's so weird because it's like an out of body experience because when I look at myself, I don't see that But then it's like that's what I look like like that's how chubby my face looks like and I'm not gonna lie to you I don't like it, but it's just like it's so weird and with my body. It's like it looks more, more mature I feel like it's sexier like I mean there are some things that I want to you know tighten up and you know tighten up and tuck away and I know it's gonna take time But it's like I'm not gonna lie to you the extra the extra booty weight is not that bad only when it comes to not fitting into my favorite jeans that's the only gripe that i have like when women get pregnant though like people expect you to like snap back like excuse me i just birthed a whole watermelon you mean to tell me that i have to be put together nipped and tucked away after almost a year of of formulating lungs toes fingers a brain in my body and like after you know them going like exiting our body like you want me to be like zipped nipped and tucked like literally right after there's a youtuber that talks about societal standards when it comes to beauty and just like women's bodies and the societal pressures that women feel to look a certain way and i believe her name is stephanie lang um i'm gonna link her video down below but she talked about pregnancy and the snapback of women and these celebrities and influencers who like have a baby and then the next day all of a sudden their stomach is like slim and like tucked away and just like super flat and i'm like what deal with the devil did you have to sign to have your body go back to the way it was before you were pregnant like literally hours after you give birth. It can be discouraging when you see celebrities and you see all these influencers again who have these babies and the next thing you know, it's like they're completely back to normal. It's insane. I'm sure these celebrities and influencers feel a certain type of way as well when they like when they have to look like put together and and like back in the original shape after having a baby, especially when you have a lot of eyes on you. But it's just, I don't know, I feel like there's such an unrealistic expectation for moms to like snap back and it's just like, honey, I created and formulated a whole human being in my body, my organs, okay? My organs were shifting in my body. Rihanna has been, I feel like, a really beautiful example of someone who is just owning her beautiful new body i love that she is well it seems from the outside looking in i love how she's just owning her new body and i think it's sexy i think it's beautiful and it's very encouraging to just like fuck it like i i had this beautiful baby my body carried her to health and although i don't feel like that great about my new body now it's gonna take some time for me to be comfortable in the body that i am right now i mean i will be working out and all these things but i also want to be able to appreciate the body that i have now and just appreciate what it's been able to do when it came to caring her when it came to feeding her and like even protecting myself delivering her like hello we have to keep in mind that you have carried a human for almost a year and you delivered that human a human came from your body what a wild concept i swear it's still not 
it's still not clicking in my brain that a human came from my body. You've done that, you've delivered a human into this world, and after all of that, your body has learned to care for this human while also trying to care for you. And it's just like, I, I feel like I need to give myself some grace and space and just like chill the fuck out and just honor myself, honor my body, and do things that make me feel good, whether it's exercising, going for walks, stretching, meditating. I think right now I need to focus on my, more so like my mental and emotional state and have that feed into, I don't know, maybe me working out and trying to figure out, you know, how to go about taking care of my body in the right way. Yeah, that's just been on my mind. That's been on my mental. Um, I need to enjoy this time, but also realize that it takes, I think it takes like up to 18 months to two years for your body to go back to normal, like pre-pregnancy body to go back. And it's just like, right now it's not feasible. It's not, it's not realistic. And like, I should take this time to just enjoy my body as it is and celebrate what I was able to do and what I'm able to do now, you know? But like, seriously, listen to me when I say this. After years of medication and topical fucking creams, the way to clear skin is pregnancy. I promise you, you'll be sleep deprived, postpartum depression, your hair will fall out, but you know what? It's fine, it's all worth it because guess what? You have clear skin. Clean, clear, and under control.